But somewhere across the world, someone declares war on Great Britain. It could happen. Now, it could happen because, after all, we have got a fair few grudges stacked up against us. Because we have defeated every single fucking country in the world at war. Name a country, Gary. Germany. Germany, 1945, thank you very much. <laughs> very recent job done, twice in one century. If only they tried again around 99, we've got the fucking hat trick. <laughs> Another country, please. Argentina. Argentina, 82, no help for no one else. And that, of course, was a war not for oil, but for penguins. Because we all know <laughs> penguins are an essential ingredient in making Guinness, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> you boil them up, the white stuff floats to the top, job done. Another country, please. Another one. France, thank you. We're in 1815 Waterloo. We haven't heard from them since. Yeah, another one, please. Canada. Canada. Yeah, Canada used to be part of the British Empire, which means they're an ally of ours. As you know, being an ally of ours counts as losing to us. <laughs> Why else are the Canadians so miserable? Another one, please. Spain. Hey? Spain. Spain, 1588, Battle of the Armada. Thank you, sir. We haven't heard from them since. Another one. <laughs> Uganda, uh, that was an African colony, of course, that at one point used to belong to the Germans, and in 1919, the League of Nations, as you know, when the Treaty of Versailles, when the world was redivided, and the African colonies were partitioned, and, uh, separated between France and, uh, and Great Britain, and we got Uganda, and as a result, simply of uh, it being defeat the Germans, we got given Uganda, which sounds like fucking winning there, without even having to go there. Result. Another one, please. Another one. Another one. You need to go to more pub quizzes, love. Another one, please. Hey, United States! All oh, right, OK. You're thinking War of Independence, America finds itself free of Great Britain. Yeah, they see that as a win, we see that as a lucky fucking escape. <laughs> but let's not forget, in the War of 1812 to 1814, the Royal Navy sailed up the Potomac River, set fire to the White House, and the Americans had to whitewash it to cover up the fire damage, which is why it's called the White House. The Americans sued for peace at the end of 1814. Even though they won a battle at the end of the war, they, the war's already over, the stupid fuckers were still fighting, even though they'd already lost. And that is America, and they've been working for us ever since. Another one, please. <laughs> Belgium! Belgium! Belgium, of course, is a creation of the uh, series of treaties that came out at the end of the Napoleonic Wars, you know, uh, the fallout of Waterloo, 1815. It was the Duchy, of, the Duchy of Burgundy, of course, and the Netherlands states were divided up, divided up into two buffer zones in order to prevent any one single power taking control of the Netherlands, which is, of course, our dangerous flank between Germany and France, and we don't like European hegemony of one power, and that's why Belgium and Holland were cut up to two in a buffer zone created. And I think if you create a country out of thin fucking air, you've won. Another one, please. <laughs> Italy, yeah, 1943, but folded early, didn't they? Another one, please. <laughs> but, but, hey? China. China, Opium War, 1860. Another one, please. <laughs> hey? Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso used to be a German colony. I referred to my previous answer. Another one, please. <laughs> hey? Norway, they used to be the Vikings, love. We saw them off in the end, didn't we? <laughs> and look at that, that's a come down. Once they were Vikings, now look at them, Norwegians. That's a fucking collapse, isn't it? <laughs> From horny helmets to horny helmets. Another one, please. <laughs> Japan, we've got the Yanks to do it for us. Another one. <laughs> Peru. What language do they speak in Peru, sir? Portuguese. Portuguese. No, they don't, actually. They speak Spanish. Yeah, which means in 1512, when Pope Julius XII divided the New World into two lines, two sections down a line of longitude 129, the stuff of the east of that went to Portugal, which is why they speak Portuguese in Brazil, the stuff of the west of that went to Spain, which means Peru was technically part of Spain when we defeated Spain in 1598, Battle of the Armada, so we done Peru without having had a visit. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> Can't argue with it. So, like I say, at some point, some country somewhere across the world declares war. Probably Saddam Hussein's Iraq. It could